Hi, I'm Dr. Jason J. Campbell, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch my videos. In this video, I'm making a, a response to um, a lot of the discussion that I've been having um, regarding the last two videos. Um, two videos ago, I did um, a video, uh, a cartoon, titled Dr. Jason J. Campbell Speaks with MC uh, Big Money. And the whole point of that video was to show this next generation of um, hip-hop rap artists and also um, individuals who don't have any aspirations of being uh, a rap artist but are part of the hip-hop culture that um, being an intellect, right, the pursuit of knowledge isn't a bad thing. Being smart isn't something that's bad. Being a nerd isn't something that's bad, right? Um, in order to make that claim, that we, we need to completely revolutionize the way in which we think, right? We need to transform the way that we, we talk. So um, just as an example, and as I said, I'm not trying to be a rapper and I'm not, but just as an example, in the, in the next video, what I did was I, I, I decided to show you, give you, uh, the viewer, a little bit more access into my life, and, you know, I, I spit a verse. Well, and, that, and that created a very good discussion, right? Um, because insofar as I spit a verse, it's sort of, I'm, 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 I'm transforming um, and transgressing against the mold, the paradigm. And what I want to do in this video now is sort of like the third installment on, on, on this sort of uh, more abstract discussion on the philosophy of hip-hop um, and sort of the philosophy of the culture is to allow you to recognize sort of the institution that I am uh, a member of, right, the, the ivory tower. It's important to recognize, first and foremost, that watching my videos, you will acquire knowledge, right? In watching my videos, you will acquire knowledge. Um, I, I can have um, information that I can communicate to you, and you can use that information to broaden uh, your understanding of the world, right? So you can get knowledge from me. However, you cannot get the acknowledgement of your knowledge from me, right? You need to go to a university to be acknowledged to have knowledge. There's an institution of acknowledgement. An institution of acknowledgement of knowledge is academia proper, right? Is the intelligentsia proper, what I'm a part of, the Ivy Tower proper. And as one uh, commenter said, um, do you guys see that what Dr. Campbell is trying to do is to let you know that you don't have to get a 1600 on your SAT, you don't have to have a perfect GRE score. Um, to become a doctor and make a viable contribution to society. But what you do need to recognize is the structure of academia. Um, and I thought, you know, well, maybe it's obvious what the structure of academia is, but then I was like, you know what, I might be giving these lectures and no one really knows what that structure is. So very briefly, I'm not going to spend a lot of time of it, on it, I just want to explain what it is. So quickly, academia is, is sort of uh, built on a foundation, a very solid foundation. You have individuals right out of high school that want to pursue their, their bachelor's degree, right? Um, so they, they, they start their bachelor's education. And, and so far as they start their bachelor's education, very sort of liberal arts introduction to um, academic thought, higher order thought. I'm a philosopher, so obviously we challenge a lot of the assumptions that you've had in your life. And, you know, it's a lot of discursive uh, modes of understanding, right? It's just bachelor's education. Um, uh, after a bachelor's education, a lot of people leave. Some people stay, right? And if you stay, then you make, you make a, another move, right? And that move solidifies more of this foundation of your education, and that's becoming a master, right? And getting your master's degree, right? Be it an MED, an MA, an MS, whatever it is, you become a master in the field, right? And, and sort of this idea of having mastered something requires that you, um, in, in some instances, right, you write this master's thesis, right? A thesis on something. Right? Um, my thesis, my master's thesis specifically, was on how people learn, but I did it in antiquity. I've been doing pedagogy my whole life. Um, but, but then even at the master's level, right, it, it, it solidifies the foundation, so now your foundation is a little bit more stable. It's not just a bachelor's education tilted to one vein, it's a master's education as well. But at the highest level, at the pinnacle of your academic education is a professional degree, right? Um, an EDD, a PhD, a PsyD, or whatever it is that you might be getting, and that that culminates your education, right? It's it's sort of it's sort of your your bachelor's and your master's degree serves as the foundation, and then your PhD culminates, right? So it's like a, it becomes um, a representation of everything that you've learned as a, a pinnacle, right? At the at the head um, becomes your your PhD education. So I mean, basically, 
you have it like this, right? You have your, your bachelor's degree, and based on your bachelor's education, um, you pursue a master's degree, right? Um, and obviously, to, to get a bachelor's degree, you need to take an SAT, right? To get a master's degree, you need to take a GRE or a GMAT or some form of examination, right? But this starts to, as a foundation of your education, right? The highest, the highest point of your education um, becomes your, your doctorate degree, right? So your doctorate degree becomes the highest point of your education. What happens at this point is that me now, as um, a, a professor of philosophy in philosophy, right, as a PhD in philosophy, or, or if I were a PhD in sociology or anthropology or whatever it might be, what my responsibility is now is to educate this next generation of bachelor's degree people, right? So the next crop of bachelor's degree um, uh, people come in, right? And, and what happens to this next crop of bachelor's degree uh, students? At this level, they, they recognize, wow, there's a lot of pressure, right? There's, there's a lot of stuff that I have to do. You can imagine, um, so it's sort of cliche, but transforming a coal, uh, a piece of coal into a diamond. It's all the pressure of school, not having to, not having mom around to tell me I have to do my studies. And you can think about all of the a recognition that I've transformed my life and all that pressure is going to be sort of consolidated, right? And it is in the consolidation of that pressure that you, you have this precise diamond, right? It, it, it's now I have a recognition that what I'm attempting to achieve is, is knowledge proper, right? So knowledge becomes knowledge becomes the, the thing that is containing, right, the buttressing, supporting this whole institution of education, right? Um, that transition from knowledge, that first taste of knowledge, right, um, and if you think about philosophy, the term philosophy, P-H-I-L-O, right, if you think about philosophy, um, philo, philo is love, and Philosophy, Sophia, is knowledge. So philosophy is the love of knowledge, and the institution of higher education um, brings us closer in, in successive steps, right, in successive degrees, from a master's degree, uh, a bachelor's degree, to a master's degree, to a PhD, or a doctoral degree, closer to an understanding of, of knowledge, right? That's what the whole institution is about. Um, at, at, the, at your master's degree level, what you recognize, right, is that, you know, the things that I thought as a bachelor's student can be identified as a thesis, right? Not writing a thesis, but my original ideas, right? It's the ideas that I got from mom and dad. It's the ideas that I got from my culture. This is what I bring to me. This is what I bring to the table. Um, the whole point of the master's degree is to have you think, okay, what I've learned um, before, right, when I was a bachelor's, what's the significance of that, right? What, what is the importance of my education at that point, and what you need to do at the at this level, at this degree, right, as as an a, a academic potential academic pursuing higher education, is to create an an antithetical account of that thesis, right? I think it's spelled wrong. A N T I. Yeah, antithesis. Sorry. I'll just put anti. Sorry, I can't spell. Um, uh, an antithetical account, right? And then what ends up happening at the top, at the doctoral level, is at the doctoral level you synthesize everything. So me, when I go into synthesis mode, I'll sit down, um, and I'm perfect example, I'm currently writing uh, two books, and I sit down and I think about all the things that I've learned, right? And I'm like, okay, I sit at the table and I start, I start writing. Um, and when I'm sitting there writing, what I'm doing is bringing together all the things that I've learned. My original points from when I was younger, the things that I've learned in higher education, and I'm looking at the, the, the broader system and synthesizing this into one point. And it's in that synthesis, right? It's in the synthesis, right? It's in this synthesis that I, I complete my education and I give back, right? I give back to this next generation of bachelor students and the cycle is repeated over and over and over again. So the whole point of this is to recognize that you can gain access, right? You have access to this information what you have to recognize is that your access to higher order thought um, begins with you just getting a little taste, right? What I'm giving you now is only a taste, right, of knowledge. You cannot be acknowledged for the knowledge that I'm giving you. In order to have an acknowledgement of knowledge, you need to enter into the system of higher education, uh, and you need to complete your education. Um, and I think that all of you should enter in the system. What I'm doing in my videos is just getting your appetite wet. 
Uh, it's up to you to uh, sit, take the exams, finish your education, and then give back to the next generation of scholars. So with that being said, hopefully that clears up sort of my, uh, my objective, my agenda. Uh, I want to thank you for taking the time to watch my videos. I'm Dr. Jason J. Campbell. Goodbye.